I want to say since you've been married, you've been so happy. I'm trying. Hi, Candice. I mean, I'm trying. I'm very happy here, yes. But there's some things I'm not happy about. White trash, okay? White trash. There's a whole community of trash. White trash on the internet, okay? Unfortunately, we have to share the planet with human toilets, with just, in Arabic, they call it ha, crap. What my husband and I, if we're really married or not, none of your effing business. How we consummate our marriage and what we do in the bedroom, none of your business. How much I make, how I pay for my trips, how I pay for my food, how much I spend on food, what I put in my mouth, how much I weigh, none of your business, okay? I believe in God and I want to be a good Muslim, but I, I can't stand stupid people. I can't stand hypocrites and I can't stand, I just can't stand it. I don't care. I guess I'll go to hell then. I don't care. Every time I do a weigh-in, the scale's broken. <laughs> the sc okay, I've had three scales. They're all broken. I don't give a shit if you think I'm 800 pounds, if I'm 900 pounds, that I'm round, I'm fat, I'm obese, I am fat. You're a thousand LBs. <laughs> Who cares if I was? Leave fat people alone. Another thing that's not your business, my relationship with God. None of your business because all of you Christian people preaching, all these people who are bullying online claim to be Christians. Are you kidding? Fuck off. Like these people are far from, per far from perfect. Let's break it down, Yabba. You, your girlfriend that you're with right now that you're sitting has called your children ugly and unfortunate looking. Okay. Her children are prostitutes and you have the nerve, nerve, her, that her kids don't even want to have anything to do with her anymore. She's a piece of shit. Go ahead, go leave. I don't give a shit. I'm not talking about children, Lynn. I, her children are prostitutes. Funkel. <laughs> Fucking re, re, oh, I'm sorry. They're Father and uncle, Funkel. Oh, yeah, I'm sure my dad's my uncle. <laughs> I don't care. Get out of here with your bangs. These people make me want to stay away from America. I'm not kidding. I want to go to Florida. Honestly, I don't. I think I'm going to change all my plans and go to effing Vietnam or something. Go take your friggin' outrage and shove it up your butt. How about that? How is that Muslim for you? Yes, it's mental, Aaron. It's a mental problem, binge eating. What do you mean I'm monetizing my addiction? I have to eat anyways, right? I did get help. It did nothing. It did nothing. Why can't I eat on camera? That's discrimination. Why not? Who cares? Just because I have trouble with food? That's not a binge. And you don't have a right to define what a binge is for me. You have no right to do that. You don't have a right to tell me how I feel. You don't have a right to tell me what to eat. Anybody normal would eat that. One piece of bread with some butter chicken. Well, what are you doing? You're killing yourself on camera. That's a binge. Says who? You? And you don't know anything. I don't even want to go back to Canada ever. Because it reminds me of these sad sacks of shit. I hate, I hate that whole, I hate my past. I hate everything about it. And these people just don't want to accept that I'm not there anymore. They think that I'm pathetic like them. Like, no, I'm not. All they do is project and I'm not like you. I'm not ever going to be like you. I'm never going to Canada. I'm never going to live there again. I would never want to be you. I don't give a crap. Like, I would rather die. I would rather. I swear. I love myself. I think I'm beautiful. My, I have a hot husband who thinks I'm beautiful. Fungal. <laughs> the reason I have health problems is from over binge eating. From binge eating. So if I don't binge eat and I normalize my relationship with food again, allowing myself to eat a burger, that's where the healing comes in. I show, I show the new shirts I got because I'm round and fat. Again, I am fat. I am fat. I am obese. I am fat. I'm almost 400 pounds. I am fat. Magic Kingdom? I don't want to go to the friggin' Western world right now. It's disgusting me. Why are you always saying, oh, look at life by Jen, using her as an example? That's so disgusting. You don't know what her problems were. And so what? She was like a lot heavier than me. 
How many of the reaction channels believe in God and are Christian? Huh? How many? Oh, I'm a smoker. Do I sound like one? No. I still sound like a human. FFG, if you probably don't know who HP Lovecraft is, right? Does she? I bet you she doesn't. Yabba neither. Gary neither. Gary either. Gary, do you know who HP Lovecraft is? Has nothing to do with me maintaining my goal. I don't care. I don't feel guilty anymore about that. I don't care. If I, if I slip up and eat five burgers, I'm not going to lose sleep over it. Do I have a rock bottom? No, because I don't dwell and stay down low. I always lift myself back up. You guys are more pressed about my weight than I am. And if I'm happy right now with the health problems I have and I'm dealing with it on my own, what's it to you? Why does it bug you if it doesn't even bug me? Bees and let bees, right? Oh, well, like, what are you, my friggin' dad? Just me? You were told to make meals at home. I was also told a lot of other things by that doctor that didn't help. That, that unit had no idea how to deal with binge eating disorder, which is why I'm not there today. They just try to push drugs on you, Vivance. And don't eat in the car, don't eat that, don't do that. I think that that's wrong. I think that we should try to expose ourselves to trigger situations. Like, I should be able to eat normally in the friggin' car. I shouldn't have to be afraid of it. If you don't, if you think that's crap, I don't care. Oh, shut up the friggin' religious police. What's had, um, defending myself and saying the F word once in a while? <laughs> Whatever. I'm missing two teeth. They're not black. It's because they're baby teeth. Kaya, shut up, you friggin' strung out ex stripper weirdo. He's probably falling asleep. <laughs> he was half dead, and I'm like, I'm going live. He's like, don't, why are you going live now? <laughs> no, I didn't have a very, I had a, a loving mother, but my home was very broken. Actually, yeah, it was. And doing OnlyFans, what, I showed my boobs on OnlyFans? Most Muslim people you meet, Kathy? Probably are not targeted every day by a fucking really toxic, disgusting group of hypocrite hillbillies, right? No, exactly. This is why, like, people think, oh, well, you're not out so- I don't want to socialize with people. I don't- I don't. I don't. I like being antisocial. I ignore people for months on end because I can't- I don't like to talk to people. I, I don't know how people can think how I'm miserable now when you f effing saw me last year. How disgusting- how disgusting my life was but I was still happy sometimes like she'll never go to Disney World oh you mean just like I never went to Cuba and I never came to Kuwait people underestimate me all the time I've proven them wrong with like everything if I gain weight oh well if I lose weight good for me doesn't f matter would you fight FFG if she was face to face, she's such a coward. If she was right in front of me and she called my mom a whore, yeah, I would punch her the f*** out. No, I don't miss BB. I don't even think about him at all. <laughs> I'm totally 100% in love with Salah. So nobody else matters. One woman, uh, I don't even, like, he showed me, like, one, he's like, what the f***, like, blocked her. One woman, like, I was, oh, I was checking his messages, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> and one woman's, like, bending over and, like, thinks she, just because she bends over. Like, number one, he, like, I'm pretty sure, like, men love, like, women who respect themselves. Every woman thinks just because they wear a thong that, that, that a man is going to find that attractive. Ew. No. Anyways... Who <laughs> bent over? I don't know. Some hoe bag. He knows everything. Does Salah know you had an abortion? Does Salah know that you did this? Obviously. I checked it like once, yeah. <laughs> that was wrong. You shouldn't check people's phones. And if I don't go to Disney, oh f well. What does it matter? I'm gonna be traveling for sure. I don't care about my, my weight does not hold me back from doing those things. Like, whatever. If I have to suffer through walking, like, uh, whatever. I can increase my mobility, whatever. Whatever. Even if I'm bed bound, whatever. I'm gonna friggin' put wheels on my bed and I'm gonna go in fucking Haunted Mansion, okay? Even if I can't go on any of the rides at Disney, I definitely can go on Haunted Mansion. I know that. 
or the ones where there's not really a, a bar or anything. There's a few rides. It's a small world. I was planning on going, if you really want to know. I'm trying to keep my plans private. Now I'm rethinking of even going back to the West. I was thinking of like, I don't know, doing something else, doing another trip with Scylla. I, I played with my scale somehow. I took a screwdriver. I made this big scheme. I'm actually 150 pounds heavier. Does that make you feel better about yourself? There you go. Merry Christmas. Happy Hanukkah. Whatever the f*** you celebrate. <laughs> yeah, they have really good pancakes and waffles. But I can't order anything for myself because it's all on Sola's phone. Halipat through his bank account. I don't know the password. No, I do. I know the password, but I can't go. Like, whenever somebody, I, we order something, they always call his phone. So it would wake him up like, for directions. I don't know where we are. I don't know how to say it in Arabic. He didn't take my apps away. Like, I could download it, but <clears throat> he always just orders. I don't know. Because, like, they, they have to call to confirm the location for some reason. They can never find it. So he has to give directions in Arabic, and I can't do that. So I just let him order, and he pays for it. <laughs> wow, nice, nice ocean, huh? There's the sun rising. Where? Is that the sun? Yeah, that's the sun. My phone is already going to overheat. Yes, he is. Because I was near the window. Just wait. <laughs> I have to do that dish. Don't judge me. Slices. Frozen juice. Yeah, because Salah likes slushy juice. 